Depends on one's interpretation of pretty well. Let's see how she does with your motion sensors. I'm not entirely comfortable being converted into a killing machine, Percy. Think of it as a new responsibility, Carr. Oh, yes, Percy. Please give me more responsibility. I've nothing to do around here. Have you cleared this project with your uncle? Yes, I have. I'm sensing perhaps an untruth. Let's go. What the hell is going on here? What the hell are you doing, Percy? You look nice today. It's not finished, but it's brilliant. I modified an S-19 attached to Caravaggio's trigger system. It's programmed to hit moving objects. Kids, Percy's internal defense system. This way, when we have intruders, I can gun them down without having to lift a finger. I'm sorry, Percy, but what the hell are you thinking about? Okay, listen to me. I can program Pids to do whatever I want. No, you can't give a computer a gun. You set a trap and someone gets killed, that's murder, Purse. Yeah, but the same way Caravaggio can tell the difference. Percy, take it down. It's not finished yet. Just do it. She almost took my head off with that thing. What thing? Percy, with her, uh... Incoming transmission. Hi, Montana. Hi, Luke. Sorry about your father. Terrible condolences. But on to business. I've got a choice assignment. I'm sure you've heard about this guy. Stephen Hamilton. A real mover on the moon. Great guy. You'll love him. So what the hell is he talking about? Does he want us to arrest him? Stephen's going on vacation, and he wants to ride aboard the luxurious Tulip. Oh, he's joking. He's an old friend. Well, an older business acquaintance. A contact of a contact. Come on, Rodolfo. What is it? He's taken his daughters on a sightseeing jaunt. And he asked me if they could hitch a ride on the tulip. Of course, I said, no problem. Bertie will love me and the girls. Hitch a ride on the tulip, sure. Just between us. Old Stevens been working for Gunner Biochemical. Huge research lab. Leading edge technology. And he's their golden boy rainmaker. Carvajal, freeze, Rodolfo. <laughs> I've heard of Gunner Biochem. The orchard has an interest in them. You sure? I'm not exactly sure how they're connected, but yeah, I'm sure. My father said that they're developing a new technology for terraforming. Yeah. Resume. Pick the three of them up at the moon's orbital station 74. Cheers, Montana. End transmission. Great. Now I'm driving a cab for the goddamn orchard. How does this happen to me? I made a mistake. Now I need your help. Mistake? Is that what you call taking the orchard's funds and not delivering what was agreed upon? I didn't realize just how dangerous these people could be. I need your protection. 
I have two daughters who don't deserve to be put in danger because I took a risk. If the orchard helps you, we'll expect help in return. You want the data files? Those, and possibly something more. <sighs> Whatever you say. I have a family to protect. I'll make the arrangements. Thank you. And we'll be in touch, Stephen. Count on it. You were instructed to terminate this project, and I must say I agree with your uncle on this one. Oh, you agree with him. That's nice. Next, you're going to say you admire Luke's honesty. God, I hate that woman. I want you to get the footage of their secret conversation ready, because I want to watch it. I'm afraid I don't have it. Why not? You record everything. That particular data was deleted immediately. So pull back up. It was also deleted. Why? It was requested. Well, next time, don't be so obliging. <clears throat> We're out of ammo. I'll be back. A little piercing, phosphorus, homing, hollow point. Damn. Hi. Come on, Percy. You almost shot me for crying out loud. You weren't supposed to be there. Now, how did this get to be my fault? No one is going to get shot who doesn't deserve to. First. You can't put a gun in Caravaggio's hands. Car already handles those ship's weaponry systems anyway. Those are external. I don't know how to make it any more clear, Percy. No, no, absolutely no. I've put some thought into this. I'm not 12. What if you shot one of our guests? Guests? We don't have guests. Could use the quarters at the end of 5B. There's a double room there the girls could use. I don't think it's a coincidence that Hamilton's with the orchard. Why haven't they contacted you since Darius? Strange to think about the orchard again. I thought I told you to take that down, Percy. Yeah, yeah. We have guests coming, Percy. I know. And here we go. Well, welcome to the Tulip. Thank you. You must be Captain Montana. And Lucretia Scott. Very pleased to meet you. Thank you for your hospitality, Captain. Especially at such short notice. You can thank Rodolfo. Uh, these are my daughters, Cordula. Pleasure to meet you. What do you do? And Ayla. My niece, Percy. Want to come down and see a love first? We didn't realize there'd be someone else our age on board. It's a lovely surprise. Isn't it, Ayla? Lovely. Yes, yeah, splendid. That's a lot of luggage for three days. Follow me. That's coming down, right? I'm working on it, Captain. A cruise ship? Pretty cool, huh, Cordy? Whatever. Yeah, it was a few lifetimes ago. Most of the ship sections are closed down. Too much space to maintain. Too much space? I like the sound of that. Sounds good. Get some space between us. Yep, OK. So if uh, you two need any help, uh, call Carvaggio. He's at the ship to say hi. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, hey, Percy, you want to? Uh... Um, sorry, I'm busy. Bye. Sorry, the accommodations aren't exactly what you're used to. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, Captain. I was born and raised on the Umbriel colony. Umbriel, really? That was the first attempt at colonizing the moons of Jupiter, wasn't it? No, I see you know your colonization history. So you'll understand, simplicity still has a certain appeal. Of course, it'll be a new experience for my daughters, but no doubt it'll be good for them. As will getting to know your niece. Percy doesn't have a lot of time to socialize. She's a ship's engineer. Oh, really? How impressive. Even better, then. They may learn something from her. You told your uncle you were removing the weapon. I told my uncle that I was working on it, and I am. 
stick it a sing thing. Well, that shouldn't be difficult to find. I have an incoming transmission from Rodolfo. Where's Dante? Lower corridor 27D approaching elevators. <sighs> Give it to him there, will you? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to startle you. You looked a million light years away. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm being presumptuous, excuse me. I, um, I could use a change of scenery, though. Would you care to show me around the ship? Dante, request permission to leave the bridge. Granted, I'll be there shortly. Well, I believe you should lead the way. You're right. I have an incoming transmission from Rodolfo. Hi, Montana. Got some dirt about your muckety muck guests. So if they're in the room, brim, 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 brim. So what the hell's wrong with him? The file appears to be damaged. I wonder if it's the file or Rodolfo that's damaged. I, uh, I need your help with the problem on the bridge. Transmission from Rodolfo. What's the problem? I don't know. Came in distorted. I only heard the first sentence. Come in. Percy, this is pretty important. I think Caravaggio can handle it. You guys can sit down. No, 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 wait a minute. I want you to come up to the bridge and fix it. It'll be a lot quicker with Caravaggio. Car, run standard descrambling sequences on all Rudolfo's transmissions. That was tricky. Sorry. Your AI told us we could find you here. Yeah, Daddy says you do a lot of work around here. Maybe if we watch, we can learn something. We just learned you could shut your uncle down in like eight seconds. Brilliantly. With a bullet. Well, he was being rude. It's an adult affliction. It only gets worse as they get older. Only one cure. Ignore them as much as possible and hang out with those that know. I think some fun just landed on my life. So what's a person like you doing in a place like this? Well, I suppose I could ask you the same thing. <laughs> it's just I was thinking you don't seem much like a bounty hunter to me. Do you have any family? No. Husband? No. Parents? No. I'm sorry. Did you lose them recently? Yes, I lost my father recently. Were you close? Perhaps you've heard of him. Darius Scott used to work for the Orchard. <sighs> Rodolfo already told us you work for Gunnar Biochem, so I know you know all about the Orchard. <laughs> That's true. But I don't believe I ever met your father. My dealings with the Orchard were superficial. I'm a broker. I manage the finance between them and Gunnar Biocam. Financing for what? Well, Gunnar, we're developing this promising new technology for atmospheric manipulation. They needed working capital, lots of it. So I introduced them to the orchard. But I don't suppose I'm telling you anything you don't already know. What I do know is that working for the orchard can be very risky. I just facilitated the deal. So you said, yeah. But you know the orchard. You never know what line they're feeding you. As long as I get my cut, I'm not such a complicated man. And that's one more thing I don't believe. You should try this. And this. And definitely this. It'll all look really fabulous on you, Percy. 
Yeah. I, uh... Don't really leave the ship, so I don't know when I would ever wear this. You must go insane. Regularly. No boys? Nope. Shopping? Nope. Clubs? Nope. You should see the clubs on the moon. And the restaurants. And there's the Vent Merchant District on Mars? Yeah. That's where we have our summer home. Cool. We kicked Raider ass on Mars once. <laughs> Tough chick. Looks like smooth sailing. Uh, thanks for the tour, Luke. It was very interesting talking to you. Captain. Did you find a way he's here? No, but he admitted to doing business with the orchard. I didn't leave him much choice about that. But he was asking about my family. He wants information about Darius. Yeah, but who's he working for? Why? What's this, Bruce? It's what? The, uh... I believe it's called a dress. Oh. Damn. We're out of sugar. Girls love their sugar. I guess you got something in common, huh? Mm-hmm. I know it's here. Are you sure you brought it? As if I'd go anywhere without it. Uh-huh. Believe for you. They asked me if I would come visit them at their summer home on Mars. Well, that's not a good idea, person. Why not? Well, for one thing, we don't know these people, and another, we don't know what our schedule's gonna be. Why don't you check our schedule and get back to me? Why would I do you any favors with an attitude like that? I didn't ask you for a favor. One for me, and one for you. Not interested. Come on. It's no fun alone. Ask Percy. I don't know what the hell's gotten into her. finally met some young women her own age who lead charmed lives. It's different. It's fun. No, no. Percy's too smart to be influenced by these superficial girls and their money. And their clothes. It's just their attitude that's driving me crazy with the, the smart-ass remarks, the sarcasm, disobeying orders. You know, I'm practically her father. I, I mean, I raised her. And you did a great job. But she's an adult now, and she's bound to leave sooner than later. Believe me, I don't want her to leave angry. I have completed the descrambling on Rudolfo's transmission. Well, play it. Yes, Captain. You're welcome, Captain. Hi, Montana. Got some dirt about your muckety-muck guests. So if they're in the room, kick them out and shut the door. <laughs> OK. Turns out our friend, Mr. Hamilton, owes a lot of money to certain influential people. He and his kids have been living beyond their means. Versus his new best friends. Anyway, these people are willing to pay me, us, big bucks to get this guy. And there he is, right on the tulip. See the beauty of this situation? All I see is a double cross. I've got an authority marshal coming to the tulip to pick him up. He'll turn Hamilton over when he gets there. In the meantime, take him into custody. The marshal should be there in about three hours. Hmm. Hey, this came in over two hours ago. Well, how am I supposed to find that out? She's not going to discuss Darius with me. That's not my problem, Stephen. You'll have to find a way. After all, you do have a certain reputation with women. She is not going to betray secrets she may have shared with her father. Besides, I think she's already suspicious of me. Whose fault is that? Look, I have done my best. Can't you just take the data files? 
I'm sure they'll be invaluable to the Orchard. Don't make the mistake of underestimating who you're dealing with, Hamilton. This is not a negotiation. Just do it. So what do you tell Hamilton? Well, I guess we tell him the truth. See how he takes it. About his daughters. I think we should let him explain the situation to his own family. He's put him in such a mess. Ready? Yeah. Something's not right with Dad. I mean, why are we here? Hey, um... <clears throat> it's not really practical, so... Hey, you up for some charge? What's charge? You never heard of it? Come on, it's a blast. It's not addictive. It just gives you this great, great, really great buzz for a couple hours. Are you gonna do it? She thinks she's playing all of that. Oh, God. Come on. more fun if we take it at the same time. That is, if you're up for it. I'm on for it. Not supposed to chew it? <laughs> nope. If Hamilton is a spy, we would be happy to give him up, wouldn't we? So, do we put him in a holding cell? Uh, let's keep him in the guest quarters till we see what the warrant says, if there is one. What are you working on? I'm just trying to push this deal forward a little more quickly. How? I have some friends on Jupiter who may be able to help. You couldn't have dealt with them from home? Hey, what's with all the questions all of a sudden? You never normally show such an interest in my work. We need to talk to you. I think perhaps Ayla should be here. Would you mind? We were contacted by Rodolfo. There's an authority marshal coming to pick you up. An authority marshal? Are you sure? <laughs> you look... Fabulous. I can't wait for all my friends to meet you. How many <laughs> friends do you have? More than I can handle. <sighs> That's nice. Daddy's in trouble. Hey, Cordy. You're pathetic. Well, I'm not surprised someone's looking for me, but uh, an authority marshal it just doesn't make sense. Are you expecting someone else? No, no. Someone from the orchard, maybe? No. I'm sure they have nothing to do with this. It's um, just my business partners. They're a little disappointed with last quarter's returns. Probably sending someone to talk to me. Whoever's coming intends to take you off this ship. Rudolph was pretty clear on that. No. No one's taking me away from my daughters. They have to be protected. You know, maybe it's due to my lack of business experience, but I don't understand how poor returns on an investment would endanger your daughters. Yeah, I think you better come clean with us, Mr. Hamilton. Shouldn't the girls be back by now? Okay, I'll go get them. Keep an eye on them. Luke, I need your help. Help? Oh, that's right. You need protection from... What is it you call them again? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your business partners. I like that. They wouldn't send authority marshals. I haven't done anything illegal. Well, it's possible Rodolfo lied about that. Oh. 
Hello? So who is after you? Oh, God. What am I going to do about my daughters? Don't worry about your daughters. We'll take them to the moon and they'll be very safe there. I'm their only parent. Who's going to look after them? Should have thought of that before. Oh, come on, Luke. You're not so cold-hearted. You're not just going to hand me over to some thug. I'm thinking about it. Strongly. I don't know what he'd do to me. Nothing I can do. If you help me, I'll tell you what I know. OK, good. Finally. So what is it you know? Luke, it's you they're after. Go oh, disengage maximum privacy, please. Hey. <laughs> Your father told you to bring Ayla to him. He wants to talk to her. Well, she's not much interested in going. Ailey, your father wants to see you. Now. Come on, the two of you, out of here, let's go. <laughs> Percy, what did you take? I can't. What? Ah! <laughs> what are you One what? Great. This is great. You stay put. <laughs> I can't do a thing with her when she's like this. Oh, for God's sake, look at you. Oh, no, the big fat bounty hunter's after Come me. on with me. Just come along. The orchard wants to know what? Oh, come on, Luke. You can't be surprised your father had powerful enemies. Oh. I am a terrible spy. You are really, really tedious to me, Hamilton. Why are you doing this? If you just talk to them, tell them what they want to hear, they'll leave you alone. And they'll pay off my debt to Gunnar Ah. Uh, I see. You have to talk to them. Have to. Have to. They murder my father. And you think that I'm going to sit down and have a nice, cozy chat with them? I don't think so. Well, they seem to think you know something, and they're suspicious of you. Anyone connected with your father is under suspicion. <laughs> What's she on? Charge. Big mouth. What is that? Some kind of designer drug? The waste of a perfectly good heart. I'm going back to no, Percy. No, you're not. You're not going back to uh, Percy. Ooh, going baby. Back. Clara, have I you Yes. Do you remember? Are you here? I'm here. Mm -hmm. Oh. You remember the conversation that was erased? I'm sure I don't understand the question. Yeah, yeah, you do. A secret conversation. Whoa. Who it's Luke. What about them? Well, I want you to delete this current hour. And the next one. Whoa. You want me to delete the next hour? Mm. Yeah. Please. Got one second to get your cold, clammy paws off me. <laughs> I want you to keep your daughters in here with you. Daddy, I think I'm under arrest again. She's on some kind of drug called Charge. Oh. He's lying. She gave it to my niece. <laughs> Captain, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ayla's a bit reckless sometimes. Reckless, is that what you call it? You keep your daughters away from Percy. Garvaggio, where's Percy right now? Captain. She's now in her own quarters. Keep her there. I'm on my way. Luke, go to the bridge, check your scanners for the transport. Yeah, OK, but you know what? I really need to talk to you. When you find the marshal, let me know, OK?
Carvaggio, I thought I ordered Max privacy. You didn't request it. I wanted it. Abject apologies for not reading your mind. Bruce, is this how you're going to solve our problem? Is it working? Cora, do a medical scan on Percy every 20 minutes. Dante, the transport will be here in 10 minutes. Captain Montana? Yes? Could I have a word with you? I'm on my way. Dante? I'm going to talk to Hamilton first. I'll be there in a minute. Where are your daughters? I send them back to their quarters. I told you to keep them here. You people don't listen very well, do you? Captain, I'm sorry. But I needed to speak to you privately. I promise you I'll make it more than worth your while. Mr. Hamilton, you don't have any money. Don't be so sure. If you could just delay the transport ship until we get to Jupiter. I just need 24 hours to close this deal, and then... Deny a marshal boarding privileges? You pull my bounty hunting license for that. But I don't believe he is a marshal, do you? Look, I took a stupid risk. But I don't believe my daughters should suffer for that, do you? They're in so much trouble, they might be better off on their own. Captain? The shuttle vehicle is approaching the docking bay. Tell Luke I'll meet her there. Please, Captain. Now, what did you have to tell me? Hamilton asked me to contact the orchard. He's supposed to deliver me to them in exchange for protection from Gunnar Barkham. So Gunnar wants Hamilton? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And now the orchard definitely wants you dead. They want to know if I've chosen sides. What they want to know is if you're a threat to them. Captain Montana, Rodolfo sent me for Hamilton. I'd like to see the warrant. I'm representing private citizens. There's no warrant required. Then you're not going any further, pal. Rodolfo told me there wouldn't be a problem. He told me you'd have a warrant and jurisdictional authority. I don't need any of that crap. Then we have a problem. I was sent to pick up Hamilton, and that is what I'm going to do. What about his daughters? What about them? Just let me get on with my job, and I'll be on my way. Can't do it. And now, I'll tell you we have a problem. Carvaggio? Make a note in my diary that this is bad. Percy, you're confined to quarters. No, I'm not. See? Overridden yet again. Damn. You're not going to win this. Step back in the airlock and consider yourself lucky. You heard him! Hamilton. Put the weapon down, you idiot. I'm not going any place. Oh, yes, you are. Grenade! Stay out of this, bounty hunter! Are you all right? Yeah. Percy, return to your quarters immediately. There's an intruder on the ship, and he's dangerous. <laughs> an intruder on our ship? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Come on, come on, girls. Oh, what's the rush? We have to get off this ship. What have you done now? Daddy didn't do anything, did you, Daddy? Come on! Luke, Montana, come in. Stay put, Hamilton. Percy, please, the intruder. Where did I? Mm. Percy, turn around now. Well, oh. hi, bad guy. Dante, I'm being kidnapped. Do you need directions? Percy? 
Lucy, are you all right? I feel good. <laughs> Hamilton, do you hear me? I've got one of your daughters. What? He thinks Percy's one of us. Shut up, you idiot. Open the door and let my niece go. I'm here to collect Hamilton. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I will if I have to, starting with your daughter here. He's got Percy. He thinks he's got Hamilton's daughter. Key card? Doesn't work. She has nothing to do with Hamilton. She's my niece. Car, is Hamilton still on the bridge? He's gone to his quarters. Wait here. You said you'd protect me. We asked you to do a favor. You didn't deliver. You're no good to us. If he kills me, you'll never get the data files on the atmospheric seeds. I've been doing some investigating, Hamilton. And I know you don't have those files. Please, what can I do? Terminate Lucretia Scott immediately. What? I, I thought you wanted information from him. The Orchard has decided on a more expedient course of action. You want me to kill her? This is your last chance. If you do not fulfill this order, the full weight of the Orchard falls on you and your daughters. End transmission. Hamilton, you're coming with me. What? Why? You're taking Percy's place. You do understand. I don't have what he wants. He'll probably kill me. What the hell do you think he'll do to Percy? Okay. Okay, you're right. She comes first. Oh, boy. So, how'd you get into this line of work? Listen up, everybody. Meet me in the shuttle bay with Hamilton, or the girl gets it. It's what? Come on. Where's he taking Daddy? What's the matter? You said so yourself. He's always getting himself into trouble. We still have to help him, though. Oh, Forget it. He's selfish. <laughs> he doesn't care about us. Come on, Cordy. For God's sake. All of them. Every last one aboard. But don't do anything stupid. I got Hamilton. I'm on my way to the shuttle bay right now. Well, that's more like it. Uh-oh. Forgot something. Forgot to water my plant. You what? Very rare species. Caravaggio, can you please remember to water my pit's plant? Water your pits. Yeah, make it good to go, you know? Understood. Oh, thanks. I'd hate for it to die. You know, dry Will up. You shut up about your stupid plants, kid. Hold it right there! Let her go! Where's Hamilton? It's cool. No worries, Lucretia. What Lupisha. are you talking about? All right. Send my niece over here. Hamilton first. I brought him down here, right? I'm cool right here, Dante. All right. Fire car, Maggio! You little. You all right? Yeah. Hey, what happened? Your pits unit misfired. Why? A glitch in the software. Take a second. He's dead. You all right? I'm fine. Unauthorized shuttlecraft docking. What unauthorized shuttlecraft? We've seen their ion signature before. Last time, it was Daddy's. So sorry. It's just business. Daddy, don't! We're here for all of us. Pack your toothbrush. You're going in a cage, pal. Is that entirely necessary? Sorry, just business. Okay, I deserve that. But the best thing we can do now is work together. 
protect each other, pool our information. Work with you over my dead body. And that's not an invitation. I know saying I'm sorry is not enough, but I am truly sorry. Well, you just shut up. You're not going to talk your way out of this or buy your way out. You're lucky you're only going to be in a cage until we dump you on Mars. Because after that, I don't give a damn what happens to you. And you better get some protection for your daughters. I have a feeling the orchard's not done with you. I don't think the orchard's done with us either. Percy, darling. Darling Dante. Are you ready to disassemble your pits unit once and for all? Yes, if it's what you really, really want. Please, please do this personal favor, Percy. If only so when I walk on the shuttle bay, I don't feel targeted. I hope you feel less targeted. Thank you. Besides, I have a better idea. Great. See ya. See ya. Next on Star Hunt. Raiders! We must not deviate from our schedule. Is something happening? What do you want with my son? Same as you. Who the hell are you? I'm a friend. Great, who are you? Are you Percy Montana? I'm not Lucretia Scott. I'll take that as a yes. You really want to know what the best part of being a father is? That no matter what you do to me, I guarantee that either me or my son will be there to dance on your grave. <laughs>